Will a tower be denied, David? I just said yes, you know. We're going for the YOLO. Last player to be killed. I'm going <laughs> to close my eyes and just do this. And it stopped at art style. <laughs> trying to click something, but I'm also trying to watch what's going on here. Dandy in the mid lane scouts on this one. Okay, I got, I got general. We're okay, gonna, we're going to go with That's that. how I did it. Yeah. It's, come on. It's, there's no way that you could logically... <laughs> Sure, there's some sets guy right out there right now. We've just triggered it. He's like, no, actually, you can. According to these stats, this player is last person died in 12.8 percent of their games, because above the 10 percent that most players have. Yeah, I'm over that. <laughs> we're just, we just, I just closed my eyes and. Okay, I, I, I cheated a little bit, but we're okay. All right, Navi versus TNC, game number two. Both teams really need this win. For TNC to go 3-3 three and three against really stiff competition, they had Alliance, Na'Vi, and Wings, I think would be begins. huge. Just so that they know that they belong here. That they're just not, the you know, the C qualifier team that they can hang with the Giants of Europe. Yeah. And, and the way, half the team's down the winner bracket. So if you're going even on wins, losses, all you need is tomorrow to have one more win than loss. Like go 4-2 and two tomorrow. Or go 3-3 three and three again tomorrow, then go 3-1 and one on your last day, for example. So... I think for these teams, it's just going even is at least like a good baseline. It's a good start to day one. Yeah, it's the I don't have to panic Whoa, about general. He's going for the same play with the the creep wave pull. He has the time walk. He's been stunned up to start things off. And Raven already still in the orbit. There's a glimpse back. Okay. Top tower but no time walk for 20 seconds. They're committing four heroes for this. They sure as hell had better get it. There's no way he gets an eye by these dudes. They're over. What a, what a bo the boar with the body block on the turn on this spot here. That was. That was one play. <laughs> Sam H, what a player. But Drow has missed a lot of farm at the top. The way we're doing it. It's a double wave. I'm about to say, worse yet, it's, yeah. They're going to have to pull this side wave in. General's already back, and they can't really zone him right now anyway, so. It's, if anything, like a good, that's like the result General was looking for, to Radiant some extent, without the death, but. Is under attack. It is a dual lane mid, by the way. Sunika, yeah. yeah. Oh, something I want to add on that is, I remember way back when I used to be on a team with Infinity, uh, and he told me when you play the off lane, it is good not to die, but at the same time, if you're a level two off laner that is zero zero zero, you haven't accomplished anything. Ouch! <laughs> dual lane pays off. They get a kill. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of off lanes you take the not dying in the off lane uh, like too far. Who is it? It was um, YYF that really innovated the the useful death. That's what he used to call it. The one where you die, but you get like, three waves of XP. It's okay. Ice Ice Dice, when he played offline, was another great example of perhaps sometimes he took it too far, but he would really <laughs> push the limit and he, he probably averaged more death than most offline players, but he, his impact on games was absurd. When he was playing like the, the DK at their prime era, like he was the most influential offlaner of that period. They are trying so hard just to slow down Cuckoo and if you get a bash off, maybe they can actually grab this kill as they are committing hard for it. They get the bash down, then he wasn't in lined up for the arrow, but you can't dodge that one in general. <laughs> An invis rotation finds a bash, gets a kill. Navi have secured themselves two for Dendi in this mid lane. Both assists, but it's still lane secured for the Mirana. And they they needed to watch a lot more Navi replays. They don't understand how much they really want to secure Dendi's laning base. Like in every game, Navi, what they really like to do is they want to ruin your enemy mid's life. And they want to give Dendi the best possible time. Yeah. They understand this is their game impacting player. What, is... What's your bets on general TPing mid to refill Dendi's bottle? Oh, he's okay. He's gonna bottle. Ah, oh, three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have. <laughs> three, three minutes maybe. Dude, I think Den or Seneca would have. Like, he's got TP ready already. True. Maybe he'll just TP back with the bottle. Oh, but, uh... That'd be sick. Okay. There we go. Dendi's taking a lot of damage here. Right. His buddy Sneaker's coming in soon. There we go. He's got the bottle. He's done. Yeah, look, it's fine. He's going to look to probably push Cuckoo out of this lane. Once more, Cuckoo is just not having fun. Two deaths, only seven CS. Top lane, though. They're going for another kill on General. Glimpse, no vision for it. Drop the connect field. Instead, he's going to go searching for him. Puts the ward, and that was not the glimpse you're oh, looking for. He might actually for. just die. Sneaker's going for the wraparound. Yeah. You needed to either put that ward sooner or just use a scouting kinetic field. See Raven! Got him. Hey, you. Bye, my friends. You can use this time to Give think it to about Dendi. Give it to Dendi. <laughs> Mid lane secure. 
Dude, that's the only time I ever see Suneko stop for a kill. It, it feels like it just takes all the self-control in the world, you know, when he's just like, the hits lined up and he's just like, come on, man. And they saw the ward as well, like that. And that, that, that to me is one of those just like kind of pressure getting to you kind of plays there that chase the way he did, even still went for the glimpse with that late observer ward. Fortunately. They lost the, yeah, they lost the ward on top of that. He had to count at the time. Like the, the glimpse was not going to be effective there. The rest of his team had given up on that. So I, I think you have to communicate a little bit better. And like you said, I do think this is TNC getting just a little bit antsy. It's very similar story to the last game where it's like their early game should be for the most part a bit stronger, but they're just making these these plays they wouldn't normally make. Yeah. Especially in the mid lane. I'm not sure that Cuckoo is used to this kind of pressure from the get go. Gonna yeah, salve up here and still looking for a bottle. He's five minutes in, he's only now gonna be able to send it out. Oh, they're trying to kill Sam H right now. They've got this would be a huge move if... Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly where he is. I'll probably go for the full loop around. Why are they heading top? Oh, this yes. might even be bigger if they can yeah. grab Raven. Raven. Closer to the tower. Demon may just be the one to tank this gank in. Yeah, Raven actually shows himself. Will they go from there? They're going to take Demon first. Then he's already ignoring Demon. Demon, somebody finish off the bench. Raven TPing out. Will escape just barely. I like that Navi went for the drow, but if they get neither of these kills, they will themselves a big hit. General stunned up. Blood the blast to finish off Demon. Now they're gonna look for the return kill on Sonico. They'll get that. They won't be able to go get they will get General with the glimpse, so with that, it will be a two kill pick up for TNC. That was a little bit greedy by Navi. Yeah. At first I was okay with it, but the ongoing chase with how long they had to chase, it became more and more questionable. Yeah. But uh, Dendi just arrowed for the neutrals. He was trying to take out all the big camps, and he just got the skeleton warrior. <laughs> Dead life. Like, I kind of, in hindsight, obviously it's pretty easy to say, but at least secure the kill. No matter what in Dota, you secure the kill. If grab the Venge there, then they don't have to chase so far. They don't lose two heroes as a result. Navi just... And then you'd be like, oh well, the drought TP'd out. Too bad. Disrespecting your opponent, David. That's saying you guys can't hang with us. We can get as much as we want. Yeah, and like you said, it felt more more greedy than anything. Where it's kind of you, you see that that kill. Like as soon as you smoke, you're saying we want the draft. That would be the big kill right now. Yes, you um, did very good there. Yeah, it was a nice position to be in, and Navi find themselves with uh, Void dead once more, and. Eastmaster, with Raw online, will probably be waiting for that cooldown and then looking for another smoke. He has one picked up already. This is a stage where TNC love to chew through these early smokes. They've actually bought out the entire shop worth of smokes. <laughs> Just to... And when you have that slightly bad early game, it, it's almost like a trigger reaction where it's like, okay... They just, like, we're, we're losing the lanes, let's smoke a bunch, fine, pick off, pick off, pick off. Do you think they're kind of doing it too much, or is it... Okay, is this... I think it's kind of okay, but you do need one for around the post laning phase, which I think is so much faster than it used to be. Like that seven minute mark where halfway through the night you want to start making uh, plays in the Radiant Jungle. Because that, that's the first move that I think TNC makes. They, I think they should smoke with their drove, go to the Radiant Jungle, pick off the Ember, and with the Beastmaster Hawk into like the Glimpse or something, uh, and the Drow Silence, then you just immediately go for the bottom tower into Roshan with the heroes that you have. Okay. And I'll have one more smoke in... Three, three minutes away, and hey, they can save this Beastmaster smoke if they really need to. You just really need one, but... Man, Navi is getting a lot, and once again, the, I think the biggest thing right now is that this Ember Spirit has just not been touched at all. And that's not just not touched, but he hasn't even... We haven't even really seen him show up, so once he starts showing up, this Ember is drow, like... I mean, you've got the, the gap closure as Ember, but there is the silence to worry about what... What do you make of, like, when DTR gets involved, is this drow just going to struggle, or is there enough protection, and is the silence going to cover the drow, do you think? I don't think the silence is enough, and you can almost always dodge the Disruptor's Glimpse with the Fire Remnant, if you're... If you've done it at least once, you know how to do it. Okay. It's very simple to do, so... Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to kill AR of this game. I, the bigger issue for them is that Navi did die, but they're still trying to apply pressure 
all around the map, and they're getting involved in the safe lane. What we originally thought was maybe just a free pick off on the Beastmaster instead turns into an aggressive move at a very... That was an odd time, David. That was like just kind of a weird move that you don't really predict. It's hard to. And that's maybe partly why Navi wanted to do it. Yeah. You do it, it's like, hey, they're not going to expect this, and it almost it pays off if you get the draw, but now you're in this position where, hey, Dendi could have been farming mid. Mm. He wasn't. Art style, of course, getting his farm on. King CS is going to take over that mid lane, and game will be unpaused. So, here we go. Oh, no, here we not go. Do you think... Uh... Okay, so both sides weren't 100% ready yet, but... Uh, I mean, Navi, when it comes to levels, they're doing just fine still. They are marginally ahead. And farm is, like, again, like marginally ahead, but really considering six minutes... I mean, six minutes in very early, it's... It's not even really noticeable when, when, when the graph parameters are at the 250, 500 gold. You're looking at even. It's like two bounty runes. Yeah. So we're, we're seeing TNC at least remain close here in the laning stage. It was this mid lane that made me a little bit worried, but Beastmaster, pure jungling farms so much faster than a Faceless Void does. Yeah. And that's where at some point the Beastmaster is going to have to just leave this jungle, leave it for the Tinker to stack, farm with March. And be the one creating space for him to farm. Use that. Use the smokes. Use the just raw to find those kills. Yeah. And, and you, at bare minimum, you want draw level six for that stage of the game. Even though, yeah, it's a beast master. He doesn't. He's oh, wait, was that the drill build that I saw? That is yeah. very one one. curious. Mm -hmm. Considering he didn't have the void really leaning against him, for him to go for the three levels of frost arrow. I do think you shouldn't go stats anymore on draw. <laughs> I, I do believe that the four levels of Frost, Arrows, and Gust is more valuable than the single points in slow, but at the same time, it's very rare to see 3 one, one committed. Especially when you're about to hit 6 0 free. Nice. Just about to, to reach that, but. See how things pan out here. Dieter uh, halfway to boot to travel. Get involved before them with his TP, but. Yeah, for TNC. It's all going to be about those next couple of moves. It doesn't really feel like Navi need to make moves. It's more going to be about reacting to what TNC do. General is getting a little bit antsy here. Yeah, and you win game one, I guess. You're pretty comfortable at your game two start. And you just want to get on the road. Yeah. This is your last game, so it's... I don't know, at this point, I guess your last game, you're not thinking like, hey, we got to think about our upcoming ones, but you're like, I, I don't know. That... Things really are not. He, his big having to go through. Oh, STI in America. There's always problems. Be people, but all the main event teams have net popular team play. Of directly in the jungle. Ooh. Get off the Arctic fern so we can fly over there. Is I think Dia should make his way up. If I were a Navi player, I, he's so close to his travels. I think he's just told his team like, look, there's a few stacks jungle camps. This will be my boots to travel. Yeah. I need some time, Dendi. Yeah. Fortunately... Oh. Hmm. I don't um, know if this camp will give him enough. Maybe if he sells his TP and Mango, but he'd have to sell a few things to get there. It'll be 17. Oh, it'll be just short. It'll be like 18, 15, 1900. All right. Where were we? Same. <laughs> All right. Headsets. All right. Not headsets. Oh, disconnect this time. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna just lie to you and say that I, we know what's going on in. Only not. And maybe potential K6 champions and wings. Yeah! Another reason to rotate Dendi up here, he can take this stack which TNC has been building out for a bit of a while, so they bring three heroes up here and Dendi is gonna do himself some good farm. This is definitely the efficiency game. There we go. Ember, not gonna quite get the boots of travel money, unfortunately. Only another camp. So yeah, Ra's debating it. Do I TP top to help my team? Do I... Oh! No! Nope. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Gotta get those travel <laughs> Just sold, sold the TP Dyer's for max efficiency. He did think about it though. You could see the... <laughs> the cogs turning. Yep. Wait, seven more drop something Navi can do for themselves as far as taking objectives go. Oh. Oh, this play bottom. Hey. General's gonna get gone on. This is a lot of ultimates. Dyer's 
Okay, he's gonna get this. Okay, with the Witcher Five is coming into Hill. Okay, they'll get him. Tinker there as well. They expended a lot though. That's why. Well, I, I guess they realize Navi's committed to Serpent Wars. They're not going to defend top regardless. Let's get a trade. The ARR sure. really wants to get something, but the two, the other two are way too far away for this. No objective follow up from TNC, but because of how much they had to commit, Raven's still sitting on this top lane as well. If they want to start taking objectives, they likely need to bring in Thrall. It's quite good though that Navi. They didn't have to commit their safe lane, because normally you have to drag that Ember Spirit up there mm -hmm. to grab that tower, but it's it's always that, like you said, Artstyle's playing kind of the 5, but he's... he's... Artstyle will always get a 6-7 minute Arcane Boots, and like a 12-14 to 14 minute 4 star for whatever item he's going for. Like, he'll always farm ridiculous amounts. I... I don't know. And if you gave any other team Navi's drafts, they would put more farm on the Sneaky Heroes. But yeah. no, Navi's, they have a very different approach. Uh, that's why I was so surprised that they didn't rotate uh, the upper up there, but it's because they had that level six. I think it's also largely, it's good for Navi because of the playstyle those players. Sneaky, where he excels is positioning and decision making. Artstyle excels at being aggressive. And if you're being aggressive when you're under farmed and don't have items, you feed. I think because they give art, they give art style farms so he can make the kind of plays that he wants to make. Do which, art style things? Yeah, I mean, do art style things. The kind of things we saw last game, which were a bit questionable at times, but it's like, hey, a lot of the time he gets away with it because he's got he's got farm, he's got these items. He can be this mid game like playmaker where he does a ton of damage. Then you could just like that player who's like, okay, I, I have no items, but I'm also going to get off a five man winter's curse with out of blink dagger just because I'm so good. That's the Jarek style. Yeah. <laughs> Make a lot happen with as few resources as possible. Yeah. So Jerex and Sneak are very, very similar in their playstyle. Jerex is another player who doesn't often get a lot of farm allocation on like the four position heroes. The DR Rod now has a very decent timing for travels. Now gonna go back and sell his TP. Yes, no triggering today. <laughs> Or he left on the oh, ground, that is. Oh, that's even more efficient. Navi, oh, wow. these selfless guys, <laughs> dropping <laughs> salves for each other and everything. Efficient guys more than anything, you know. That's that's wasted money. That that is wasted money. It's just twenty five gold. Where do you think this comes from? Yeah, money doesn't grow on trees, man. Not even in Dota. All right, I, I mean, would. It kind of does. You get you get one gold per well more than a gold per second. If that's not money growing on trees, I don't know. Where does that gold come from, Will? It's not in Storks. Trees. Storks? Okay. Just dropping off the... <laughs> Investment banking, man. Everyone's got a portfolio in Dota. <laughs> e equally match portfolio with every other player. So you, you don't know. Ranking in the same. Investing as a group is so much safer. <laughs> oh, up at top? Not gonna move. They should really get to level 6 though. Whoa, big ancient stack for uh, TNC. I guess mostly Drow Beastmaster can likely take this together. Yeah, they're actually already bringing in Raven for it. Yeah. Oh, another pause. The OCD in me actually really likes it. Because um, they're they're like evenly pausing, you know, they're just like they... doing... There's one from TNC, then two yeah. from Navi, then one from TNC. Okay. Guys, the everybody here is doing their best, trying to fix things as fast as possible, so bear with. Sure, yeah. We'll do our jobs now and try to keep you entertained during these trying times. Not very well, though. No. For, speaking for myself, at least. Because I still want to have, like, I want to add brevity to the situation, because we are still at TI. Yeah, but... yeah. It's hard to, like, go completely off topic, because I'm like, man, I'm casting TI, I'm casting Navi at TI, like, I don't want to talk about airplanes and thongs and... Other shit, but you know, sometimes it happens. You get these pauses, and there's only so yourself. much we can talk about. <laughs> a ten minute I mean, game. I mean, we could go. We could keep it on Dota. Like we could talk about the patch, or we could talk about certain heroes. But you know, it, that's I don't need to do that. We'll save save that for other people who make YouTube videos. <sighs> I don't know. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought something had happened. <laughs> it was in the opposite way of where we wanted to go. Yeah. Oh, no. all right. <laughs> Dropping. The situation so, uh... has deteriorated. Yeah. You uh, unforeseen uh, technical. 
Portuguese, we're going to be taking an extended hiatus. Now we're coming back. Here we go. We ready. A lot of lines being drawn. They're saying invade. You know what I think would be would be fun? We should pass the game in VR mode. In VR mode? Have you tried the VR uh, Dota, Dota yet? No. Have you? I have seen streams of it. I haven't actually tried it myself. It imagine seems... it be quite disorienting. Yeah. You get quite dizzy. Or... The last time I did VR was at Frankfurt when they had their HTC thing, and I enjoyed it, but I was so scared. It was they. We were doing this like zombie shootout thing, and I just like Pyrian has like a video of it. I just like dropped my legs, and I'm pretty much like, you know, white flag in the air. I'm so you know me. I'm the guy that can't watch Game of Thrones because scenes of yeah. the depictions of violence scare me. And that that show has some pretty serious violence. Yeah. So Yo, to <laughs> that, be that... fair, did I tell you about the? I, so we went we went as effort to you know we we're doing some team bonding. So we all decided we were going to watch Captain America: Winter Soldier in mm -hmm. Korea. We go see the movie. And spoiler alert, dude, this movie's so old. If you if this spoils it, there's like a scene where Samuel L. Jackson. I think he's about to die. You know he's uh he's the Nick Fury or something, and I get so scared that I close. You know when you close your eyes, I think they're about to shoot him. So I, I I put my fingers in my ears and stuff, and my team's la like everybody from Zephyr's laughing. There's like a bunch of Korean girls that are watching the movie that are just pointing at me very blatantly. No shame at all. Well, it's okay to be to have feelings. Dude, Captain America: Winter Soldier was that was a scary movie. So it's the shows intense... you don't expect that hit you hardest. Growing up, that was uh, Scrubs. Do you remember that show? That show had some yeah. really hard emotional moments. Yeah. Dude, the only time I've ever cried during a film was the movie Click. Will Smith? No, Adam Sandler. Adam, oh, Adam Sandler. Yeah, yeah that's right. That, with the remote. Yeah, yeah. It time. was really sad, man, because oh, he, he realized too late yeah. what was important in life. Yeah, yeah. I, I cried during that movie. All right, I that. TNC, we're Die back on top of things. No tears today for Demon Let's so, Hope. Well, who knows? Don't buy it. Nobby, they're getting aggressive. They know that Cuckoo's there. I think they should just go for this play. Go for it. They already shot the arrow, though. The damage from Starstorm should be enough. Then. Oh dear. Get the kill. General gets the kill instead. Cuckoo was on a killing spree. Hey, I guess oh. he killed the last. He started off zero two, but since then he's. Grouped up with his team, like when they got the kills at bottom, he was involved. So I guess he didn't. I guess he was just taking the kill. And it is coming out. Now the have the vision here. Oh no, that's right. That's the well, They don't quite have the vision, but they are going to go aggressive here. They found one in A. You just the struggle. Get the last one. Pick your up. On the side, but the infant needs to stun. Actually, didn't land. And Dicho will be a okay. Andy from the to the north is going to get silenced up. Demon swaps it back. Andy, no loop available. Big kill as uh, Demon unfortunately Winter's Coast up. The Drow is going to be enough damage, not quite. Nico will fall back as Navi take the T1 mid. The Serpent Wards continue to take objectives for the CIS squad. And Cuckoo's to travel timing, importantly, has been slowed down by Navi. Still, that was not bad at all for Navi, or for TNT. They don't lose the bench, they get a kill on the Marana, who's a very high priority target. They slow him down. Their Dro manages to make a lot of headway in terms of farm. Uh, just 300 net worth behind, despite being two towers behind. Yeah. So I think everything's okay, but at the same time, you're still running a Dro lineup. This is a lineup that doesn't want to sit back and be passive. You inherently want to be aggressive with this hero. You're not taking towers yourself, which is probably one of the, the bigger worries right now, yes. as far as their lineup's concerned. But Looking to change this, it looks like they're smoking up, and I say change this because could be a, like a hero kill into tower push it could also just be a straight up roche with i the... think you go for a kill you, i don't think you can go for the roche on straight up <laughs> and they're leading trying to scatter with an arrow oh, they're not going to get anybody that is that actually is massive because they needed at least one of these smokes to be able to get control so now instead they have to go for the regular farm what they were trying to do there is invade this jungle uh just immediately go for this bottom tower, then you have a lot of options to go for the Roshan. And Navi's in full force now, they are well aware that something is up. Oh. We talked about that style, it's 12 to 14 minutes in, he has not, he's gonna blink. Going for it again! Well, another Serpent Ward, oh, yeah, but they, they, they had another smoke of it. Nick was gonna ruin this again. Well, they'll get the kill on him, it looks like, but... I don't even know if they can go for Roshan. They killed off the Winter Wyvern, so there's no Winter's Curse, there's no Serpent Wards. 
could commit to Roche. I guess they're going to make the decision that defending this bottom tier 1 into Serpentwood is not possible. And Navi, they still have time to try and contest Roche if they so choose, and they're going to get vision in just a second. General's got to be a man to watch here. He's going to drop his TP. He wants to go for the play. Oh, no, he doesn't get it. The silence is there. Drow Ranger silence on the time walk in. And now they're going to get the glitz back as well. They put Dendi the lead to the high ground. I'm away for now. He's still low on HP, and that invis wearing off soon. Instead, he could be caught out here. He now gets frozen oh, no. in place by Sonico. That's going to backfire. Dendi. Team getting away from this one. Nice with this curse on Ayu. That's going to be the death of the disruptor, but then he's going to go down to the axe. Demon under the T1 tower dies. Teacher Run needs to escape that arrow. Oh, gonna it's going to follow him. him. Dude, are you, you're so this? dead. I don't care about this bottom five. You're just so dead. It's. Oh, it's. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's. Oh, it's. Oh, it's. Oh, it's. Hey, what did we miss? <laughs> General, he's back in. He's got a Chronosphere. He may look to use it, but Raven has an agent and he dodged Oh, it. he doesn't get Raven. Ooh. Raven does walk back into it, though. Radiance bottom tower. All right, so for a second, I think J.R. Rath thought Radiant we'll be this. Where he's like, oh, cool. It's like, I just, the bullet missed. Well, he had, he had no boots to travel. Like, I, I guess he could try slide a fist dodger. That's what he should have done. Dude, that was like that movie Wanted, you know, where they just like twist yeah. shots and stuff. If you if you slide a fist while it's midair, do you instantly disjoint it even if it's not near you, or do you have to uh, slide, time so. to slide a fist? I think even if you, it has to like the projectile has to already be in the process of hitting you. It, it's such a small margin, but I, I think he thought he's like, oh, I'm cool. Yeah, like, I, everything's. <laughs> he's like, wow, I thought I was dead. Oh, I really get to see my kids tonight, and there's like, no. I. That was just weird from Navi. Like, I think Soneko might have actually just killed Dendi there. Like, if Dendi Absolutely. just kept running south and TP'd out, he would have been fine. But instead, he froze him in the middle. I think they might have thought that the chase was over. For that, TNC. A decent swing to go their way. Top lane though, the Venus Jump Point drop. Pascal goes in with a blink tagger. Look for this. Solo kill. He'll get it. Trade his life. I was Serpent Warns though. Yeah, it's a one for one, and I mean, ultimately, that's a bigger kill on Shadow Shaman as far as gold exchange, I imagine. Yeah. No XP for the Disruptor, but, you know, you oh, take that three. Oh, I really like this. He's actually doing something that. You remember how we talked about in the very beginning of the last series is you want to farm these three camps as dire? Yeah. Instead, Cuckoo is. Well, you stay just gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> You know, well, I, I, I really like this too, you know? <laughs> well, I think he's gonna kill Dendi. Oh, what's okay. going on? I, I do really like this. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this, this game, like, Navi played maybe the most precise 20 minutes of Dota I've seen at this entire tournament in this last game, and now it's just... You know, there's... thing which I feel like contributes to this, and... The pauses. The pauses throw you off a ton when you're playing Dota. Oh, the arrow's falling. All right, this one's like, not kill. Okay. Your whole flow of the game gets disrupted when there's pauses. It's not even about like a team who's winning and losing their momentum. It's just about like as a player, you lose that feel of like what's going on and what your your role should be. Yeah, I I honestly. Oh, it's me. You is just gonna pay for this. No, kind of killing inside. I. I was going to add to that point though, because I, I completely agree with you. I think that before the pause, there was a clear cut game plan and everybody kind of read the movement. But after that pause, you lose sense of what's going on. And now you just see kills and deaths it's, it's both teams. And it's these weird, weird kind of solo adventure kills. Like what, I mean, Beastmaster had an idea. Like he wants to be in the enemy jungle because he has Necro Book up. So he's like, oh, I'll just go in there and de-ward. But like, send your Necro Book by itself. It can scout. It, It'll clear out wards if there's any there, and hey, there's not really going to be any deep defensive wards there if you're Na'Vi. They're, they're, they're not a team planning defensive wards. Yeah, like, what? there's no reason for Sam H, like you said, to have to be there. He's got uh, the book three, and everyone's just kind of they're just doing things. Like, uh, when's the last time you saw support on support both kill yeah. each other? Like, every, this is not precise. Like, this is where Dota gets a little bit nitty gritty, and nobody, no team is willing to back down from it. The other team is kind of just saying, hey guys, like, NC's got an Aegis on their draw, they can just push down the lane. Now, they've only, and they've only got 30 seconds left. To think a Drowse team with Aegis, think with Boots of Travel, hasn't just, like you say, gone down the lane. There's two T1 towers. I, I feel like if those pauses hadn't happened, 
TNC during the stages would have taken both those tier ones as a five man unit. And yes. it's not just TNC who are, who have been affected. It's, it's Navi. We're seeing like Dendi just dying there. It was a bit of an odd misplay from him. We're seeing like the Shadow Shaman going for that big dive at top where he trades his life for his support. So it's, it's entering this funky place. It's at least providing some entertaining Dota. It's Navi. They go in this. They're looking to. Engage on bottom lane out of the Moonlight Shadow. They keep kicking out Cuckoo further down, but... They've been lost the Vegas now. Nice. Navi, they're in. Raven, no escape for you. Bench not in position for a swap in. Navi will likely... Well, they can't easily transition or push with the Surf Mords down, so... And Tinker alive, so... We'll see things slow down a bit. And he does have the Agatha, so... All the... We have the four top net worths, all of a sudden TNC striking back, despite the early game going in Navi's favor. Like you said, with the game getting a little bit more chaotic, so far it has favored TNC. They got a little bit unlucky there, the Aegis just ran out. I think everybody from TNC just assumed that it would last like 10 more seconds, because they were getting in position again. Yep. But you said that pause is going to mess up your rhythm just a little bit. Throw Navi themselves at yours with that full sound, they're probably saying, okay, this is the exact time the Aegis will expire. You get to like scroll up and see exactly when you typed it in and. Oh. TNC. Do what their next move is gonna be. They used a lot of smokes earlier. They don't have an Aegis right now, so I imagine they won't necessarily be grouping up to push anytime soon. Next smoke in a minute, so if they wanna use that to play around, they definitely can do so. General. This mid lane doesn't have Chrono up, and I think that's what's going to prompt TNC to just go for the straight up push. Even Cuckoo getting onto the high ground, and Snake going to run into him, and he's taking a lot of damage. I don't, I don't think I was the fight Snake quite realized how much damage he was going to take in, but... Dude, March is dangerous. He is dangerous. That is a Blink Dagger Void. Yeah, so looking for the initiation with a Mirana Ag is a lot of follow-up damage for this. Kuku temporarily at the bottom lane. You know, say, needs to come back soon. Now he's going to be engaging. So Raven just going to use the range from the Dragon Lance to safely push this one. General will oh, get catch to drop out immediately. Demon. Happily trying to throw away his own life there. They get the Warlord Crack of Sam Ake. That means no roll for you. They're trying to kill him off during this. And they will do so. Follow up there is the dead. He leaves himself into the static form of disruptive, but it's already three TNT heroes dead. And Arsenal, he's poor Raven as well. It's clean up the city. But Navi, four dead to the fifth in Cuckoo. With a bash from Void, they'll secure it. Great execution on that team fight as Navi chased down TNT. Right there, I think TNT almost overrated the ability of swap. They still got two caught on the chrono at the end of the day. More importantly than that, they couldn't really protect any of their damage dealers. Sam H went down, Necrobook was on cooldown, didn't have that roar available. I think they had to respect that chrono a little bit more than they did. Because you can reset the fight off of that. They can continue to farm that ancient camp of their own. Go for the next Roshan, I think, gods. And from there on out, their game becomes a lot more standard. But wasting that Aegis, not able to get too much out of it. And three minutes is going to be the timer as TNC. Without that Aegis available, I don't think they can take fights into that chrono. Game gonna continue to get hard for them. Art style, by the way, Aghanim Scepter, more or less completed. Oh, and he's got a blink. What happened? You know, you know what? The Joker at about like EGM, what it used to be, how greedy he was. I feel like Art style is the new EGM. With yeah. whenever I see him play, Art style is the new Art style, man. <laughs> yeah. I saw that guy rush a hand of Midas on Enchantress, and he had the most net worth at 10 minutes. He's God, if you compare it to Dendi, their farm is almost identical. And he does this while playing uh, this super aggressive style. Like when he's on the Enchantress, he's taking the hell out of mid lane. Like he's diving towers, and then he's like, oh, right, then I'm just gonna AFK farm for a bit. Yeah, there's that X. That helps so much. Uh, money. I mean, just with the damage increase alone. And, yep. They can protect those wards. They've got if everybody from TNT tries to take it down, they've got the uh, Winter Wyvern ultimates. Mm -hmm. And now Navi, they know that Roshan could have spawned, so I think this is their time to start getting aggressive. Yeah, current in a backup as well, yeah. so they're very strong in a team fight. NC is split up naturally, they have a Tinker, and we talked about how if you get behind at any time on Dire Side, you're gonna farm those two camps, and that is exactly where Navi is headed towards. Raven. They know. Radiance top no away from the Winter Wyvern for now. Like Sonico. I'm gonna find anything. Dire Vision 
Doesn't see all too much. They're gonna go in initially on Demon, not the ideal target. The Surf Wars come in and everything. General! Surfing doesn't have mana. Mark the machines, look forward to Nico, Cuckoo, bro. Okay, there we go, laser. What? Pew, pew, Fine. Pew, pew, pew. Again, Navi just overestimating their strength. I do agree with them that they should have won that fight, but as soon as their one position gets taken out like that, and even Dendi gonna go down for their troubles. It wasn't even like it was a yeah, observable attacking it by surprise. That was just Drow just walking tomorrow. right up to him and silencing. The timing of that. Roshan's gonna spawn too, David. As yeah. soon as they clear this angel. And they know it, because it's almost the, the max respawn too, so... It's gotta respawn in the next 15 seconds at most. Yeah, they're gonna confirm this right now, and I think everybody from TNC just walk in, take it. Their game plan becomes much easier, especially with that Ever Dead. I... Na'Vi, every single time they start gripping yeah. this game, TNC... Bit out of their hands. I'm, I'm sure a lot of it kind of goes back to saying we talked about a bit earlier. It's like this is their last game of the day. They played six games in a row, some more I grueling than others, them. and it's hard to maintain that level of Dota all day long. Now there's Aegis on Drow. He's got a full BKB on, on the courier. Oh man, this guy is massive. He is the most fun turn in the game, and not V while they've. Managed to play the efficiency game and have a, a super farm art style Shadow Shaman. Even Wyvern and Sineko Sans farm. TNC have some of the poorest supports you'll see, but it's at the top where three of the top four are in TNC's side. Given the farm to the core top. heroes, and they're going to look to use that to their advantage. Navi saying, You don't need surfboards. This is perhaps a dangerous surfboards because TNC Dyer's may see this and just go push mid. Yeah. They will have to address top lane, but that's what Tinker's great at doing. Push it out with Mark and come back to the mid lane. You just prevent the split push. I think TNC can Dyer's even reasonably go for a three-man smoke. And they might get spotted here. Oh. They're gonna start marching I forward, I believe though. that smoke was under that observer. I didn't see what the, the radiant vision looked like at the time, but... Yeah, it did see it. So... Just play Navi. Don't go to your own jungle. Oh. Demon. Perhaps looking for a swap. Not gonna find it. You'd love to kill Suniko here. That splinter blast spam is very pesky to push into. This is a high ground play. I think the Serpent Ward's down and how important they are to damage. They've still got a full minute. You've got this Aegis throw that you have to contend with. He's got level 16 and a BKB. And now even worse, the Glyph's been popped. Sam H is going to have that Necro 3 available to him too. They're trying to get the swap out with the, uh, the Hawk Demon though. He's going to get... By an arrow here, taking a lot of damage, the Necrobox on him though, Demon! No heroes hitting him, it's the Necrobox! Great silence on the General! He's been taken out, he's having the mana as well, he's going to get the lead in, he's like, you getting low, but he's still barely alive, yes, he's going to go down, Dendi! He's dead! Great execution from TNT with the silences, and they've taken out the four heroes, forcing a buyback to Yara. Yeah, silence? Oh my gosh, silence after silence, until a Cronus here finally shuts down Raven, but he's got an Aegis! Hey, you looking to come back in if possible? They take up the drought for now. General is going to get pulled back in and he's going to get taken out as well as a dive back. Yes! Tinker Dagon will finish him off and Raven now will get to work on the tier 3 tower and racks. No buybacks available. They can only get one lane because there's still tier 2s up, but TNC have broken the Navi high ground. Yeah, we'll get a kill. No, he needs to get the hell out of here. Oh, Raven, you're greedy, going for all of the outer towers. The huts. the huts are where the money's at, man. Invest in huts. Hut, the, the hut stock. They're like the, the, the Nintendo Pokemon stock. They're just gonna go on the rise. Dude, you only get one shot at huts. Okay. Right. That bigger thing here is that TNC, if they can walk away from this clean, it'd be huge for them as Navi. Typically what you'll see is, even though Rax has taken the team that loses Rax will usually get one or two follow-up kills, but that's just not the case here as Navi is splintered all over the map now. There were the clutch plays in that push. The insta-silence and the void, catching Dandy with the static storm. Disruptor lived on like 100 HP for most of that fight. 
everything looked like it was going to be really good for them. You saw that Suneko had that brilliant uh, Winter's Curse on the, the Ventral Spirit, which turned yeah. the Necrobooks against him. You got rid of the only saving mechanism against that Chronosphere, like you said. Then that Clutch Silence hits into the roar. That I mean, TNC just simply flat out played Navi right there. Yeah, I know some overconfidence from Navi, but I think they're right to try and... I think they're the Venture. I think they're right to try and engage with Chrono, but that Insta Silence just ridiculous. The vision's been really important. Having the Beastmaster Hawk over the enemy base to try and scout the void, to try and get swapped, to get hard style, make it plays. Now he's a four star. Yeah. The important thing though, something I really noticed about OG's play, and hold that thought, is Demon's gonna get gone on it. General Mel comes here. They're gonna grab both the cores! Oh no, what's going on? Both cores go down. Navi and Heroes nearby, but they just couldn't get there in time. Sam H was heading top and it was the Moonlight Shadow to try and kill Sam H in the end. Hey, you with the blink forward. This is turning into a game of cup as TNC pick up one kill after the next. Navi are, they are just getting caught off all around the map right now. And that's something which TNC's draft is so good at punishing with the, the Beastmaster, the Vision game, the Disruptor Glimpse, the Tinker's ability to just be anywhere at any time. I want to force the buyback. Are they, are they forcing the throne here on the tier fours? Ember has one, so... You can't afford to take this much damage on your throne and explode the throne in a game like this just means one team fight. Oh, then the Indy gets a lot. He's silent too as well. They've got the Glimpse even if they need it. Looks like it's gonna be AU in trouble force the back off. They force up the buyback now. In comes Tinker, they're gonna pull Dandy in. He's down! Three out for the count. Will have buyback. Demon now. The outside of the Chronosphere does not have to to help Raven out. Raven without an agent. Needs to be careful. Great arrow on the Cuckoo. They've got some damage with Tinker as well. Raven does get they get the kill. They get the void. Raven will still die, but they get a it's consolation so prize in General's Faceless Void, so I think all in all, TNC can still be happy with that. They force two carry buyback. Are they gonna lose more? They may have to kill Deja. Is this where you just buy back on Drow? Go to Tinker, and well, it's not just Tinker, it's Sam A. Bring him down with the Necrobox. Dandy, blinking in to try and claim the gem, will also look to try and claim AU, but be careful, Necrobox on him. You don't want to kill this melee necrobook, but sometimes you can't help it. That Aghanim Scepter has a mind of its own. Andy, fishing with the arrow, won't find it. What are we watching? This is one of the, the most chaotic games of Dota I've seen in a long time. Yeah, right now, it's kind of where you just, you gotta go with it. Like, no team is gonna snap out of it. If it's one of these kinds of games, everyone's just gonna kind of complete the circle of running at each other, but TNC come out the clear winners of that engagement as they take down that first tier 4 tower, they knock on a lot of damage, and more importantly, they got so many of those return kills post buyback. Well, Art Style's having fun. That's what I wanted to talk about, is that you notice when OG has any of these pushing style lineups, they always make sure that they're fighting on your side of the map, and so that they can claim something as a result of this. Art Style, sure you're getting these solo pickoffs, but when is when's the last time we saw these wards used for something other than just getting a hero kill? It was really just the early game where we saw him. It was very strategic. He took tier one, tier one, tier one, every single step one. But since then, he's only been going for the solo kills. And Abi, now they have to perhaps take a team fight or defend their base without certain wards. Luckily, they'll find another pick off on Demon, who doesn't have any friends around. And with that, TNC or Navi perhaps in the clear as TNC won't be looking to press the issue just now. Oh, Cuckoo. Almost got blinked on there by Dichira. That is my biggest point of concern right now for Navi, is that it is good to get one of these pickoffs once in a while, but I think if you're almost always just committing the Serpent Wards to taking fights on the opposite side of the map, we saw when uh, he decided to commit the wards at top, that's what originally caused them to lose racks. It seems more okay when it's the Tinker or Core, but when you're using, like we've seen a few where it was the Disruptor, and that to me is not an ideal target for those seven wards. Or I mean, use it for that tier two at top, yeah. which just prompted TNC. They said, oh, you like you said, TNC sees that. They say, they dropped Serpent Wards for that. We weren't even planning on defending that. As a sample, see a Bloodstone picked up by Cuckoo. It's really Raven who's picking up the farm. What's the latest pickup? He's got a Scotty in the works, just 200 gold away. He's going to get very tanky with this item. Pretty much an item being picked up largely just for the stats here. 
E doesn't really care about his frost arrows as much anymore. Just 2800 HP, get a lot of agility for free as well. And Navi with their next move. We'll have to find out what's going to be. Seeing these kind of miracle late game Navi games with atmosphere, and that's exactly each of our specialty. Oh, they were very close to catching the Tinker there on the TP out. Maybe they can get wrapped around on, though. They're trying to just follow wherever the Tinker goes. Dyer's gathered them, though, yeah. Is under attack. And comes in. TNC, no. They're just pushing, forcing this mid lane. With their smoked up, they're using the Tinker as bait. Things what they could find with Cuckoo on the front lines. At this point, now they have to realize Cuckoo is on their high ground. Surely he's got backup. They can force Navi into their base. You know what they could do? TNC could just immediately run back to the Roshan. And because Navi is spotted this entire time and they've got to deal with this mid creep wave, there's even another one coming in soon. I think you just go for the Roshan. I think this was a very smart play by TNC. And you've got Hawk Boars, you've got tons of scouting capabilities. You don't have the scan, so there's always that slight chance Navi smoke at you, but it, it looks right now this could just be a free Roche for TNC if they go for it. But they're a little bit hesitant. They are setting up around the pit. Trying to get a catch here. Navi thinks that they've already started oh, it. Oh no, this could be. This is a trap. They've got the sentries and everything. They see art style. This is so well done by TNC. Potentially the game winning play. Oh, they've caught Dijerat this time. They're going to bring him down before there's any response. The Cold Embrace just in time breaks through the channel. But the Dagon will finish off the Ember No buyback for Dijerat. The Winter's Curse was good, but not enough damage coming out from it. And Navi will lose their third as Dendi. He's alone. Has just general and also gonna completely abandon him. He gets glimpsed back into TNC onslaught. Demon is there to make sure they get the kill and general. Well, he can only stand and watch. I think TNC are probably making the call go straight for that drone. These heroes do not have buyback anymore. Two minutes on the buyback of Ember and Dendi, roughly. This may just be game over. Yeah, Seneko doesn't even have that Winner's Curse, can't even go for a dream play, and before their throne falls, they can't bear to see it, as they're gonna call it, and TNC, gonna split even with Navi, and... What a day. Yeah, this, this really could have been a game that Navi could have taken, but one or two poor decisions, and immediately TNC pounced. I... Very entertaining game. Okay. Yeah, I, I had one read. <laughs> you had four reds. I quickly closed it because I was embarrassed by my three incorrects, but uh, luckily.